Okay, welcome back. I guess this is part two to this um, to the this final 187 decode. Okay, so in the previous one we talked about the Alpha Omega. We picked out the 187 from George Washington himself from his name, and we picked out the 187 from um, Pi that is up here in previous dollar decode folds as well. Okay caveat again at the start of this video if you haven't seen that video you might want to watch it first you might want to go and watch some of the other dollar decode videos familiarize yourself with the chart of Lorraine as well that's in previous videos go look that stuff up in the back catalog there and this will make more sense or just don't bother and just watch this anyway who cares um, Please don't whine about it, though, in the comments. Um, now, without further ado, okay, so what? So we talked about that in the last video, about the alpha and omega. Yeah, the omega sign here that is around the alpha, okay? And I said about these, um, this last bunch of berries and leaves, okay? Which I haven't talked about for dates. Um, in other videos, I may have mentioned them in passing that this is a 55 and an 88 here. Okay, five berries, five berries, eight leaves, eight leaves, 55 and 88. Okay, and that's the way I'm looking at them. Okay, now you can add these up in different combinations and you can get three different numbers. The number that I look at the most is 143. 55 plus 88 is 143. You'll see that number show up all over the place. Okay. Um, but what do I want to say? You can combine these numbers differently and you can get 116. So the 611, and that comes up quite a bit. That will be in another decode video coming up, if I can remember to put it in there. Um, so the 611. Which is also six is nine. It's also the nine eleven. So one hundred and sixteen and one seventy is the other number you'll come up with. Eighty five plus eighty five. Okay. And seventeen. I mean, that comes up in a few places as well. But I, we're not going to dwell on that because I want to focus in on the one four three. Okay. Um, the other number that we'll be paying attention to is this one five five that's at the top here. Okay, that's hidden behind the pi. Yeah, because as I said in the last video, if the beginning is the end, if it's if the two separate events, the twin events, are both referenced by pi, okay, the number that's hidden behind those that that thing up here is one five five in both instances, yeah. We get the one five five if we come across from uh, 254 on this side of the dollar bill um, and we go 155 days we get to 213 okay which is on this side of the dollar bill but my question is should we be going another 155 day jump because if we do another 155 day jump from 213 it takes us to the 18th of July 187 okay now I've got a one of my great schematic diagrams up so we better go to that and I don't know what I covered in the last there's a couple of videos back now I I'm sure I did talk about this somewhat but I don't know exactly what I covered and this is going to become a little more interesting and there's a little bit more to it I know I I didn't have everything that I have here in that video so um what I was just talking about with the 155 day jumps, yeah? That's those set of bearers, okay? And that takes us to um, 7.18, no, the 18th of July, okay? And we just happen to have another 55 day jump, which brings us back to 9.11. Um, this is a full calendar year, okay? This is 365 days. If we add 155, 155, and 55, that's 365 days. The only other number that you can kind of do that with is 88, I think. There may be a couple of other, you may be able to do it with another number as well. 
um, that will get you close. Um, but 88, if we do 88 plus 88 plus 188, that will get you to 364 days. So that's just interesting, um, just more interesting math stuff. Um, but that's that's your cycle there, okay? Now, I'm trying to think if there you can do that with any other numbers. I don't think you can. I, like I said, 88 is the one that gets you the closest, um, dividing it sort of three ways. Now, that other set of numbers that's at the bottom, those other set of leaves that are at the bottom of the dollar bill, the 88 and the 55, yeah? That 88 and 55 right here, the 88 and 55 right here. One thing I did forget to mention is on this Omega, is there is a 7-7 seven seven here. Okay, I forgot to mention that in the last video. Let me just, while I was just thinking about it, let's just mention that 7-7 seven seven there. Okay, so that 77 is on. That's the only 7s that I can really find on the dollar bill without looking into an actual decode. Um, now, anyway, this 55 and the 88 that's at the bottom of Washington, yeah? Um, if you remember, Washington had the 88 in his name with the Gematria. Um, and so, let's go back to this now. Those two combined add up, they total 143, okay? And so, I did a 143-day jump now from that 213, from the 13th of February. That all-important date. The reason why this date is so important is not just on that dollar bill decode, but it's also in this chart here. And what I now call in this chart is the pie chart as well. The double cross of Lorraine. It starts off in this row here, the Lucas numbers. Okay. Lucas. The light bringer. <laughs> Lucas. So. 213 is at the start of this. This is the birthday here. It's also a midpoint. Um, and how do we get to the midpoint here? The midpoint of the 20 year cycle. And I'll talk about this again later. But this corresponding set of pi numbers here that are below. Yeah. 314. If we go to the 10th cycle. Because we're dealing with pi a lot. So we want to reference pi as well in with this. So if we go half of this number is happens to be right here, 157 on the 10th cycle, yeah? So we get a halfway mark here as well, which is interesting because the cycle that we're dealing with is a 20 year cycle with Odysseus returning after 20 years, okay? And this is half of pi here and this, set of numbers here this pi corresponds with this set of numbers here the start of the lucas numbers is the same as the start of the pi row again if you don't know what this chart is and this all sounds crazy to you and you're like what in the hell is he going on about here you've got to go back and look at other videos this is basically just a chart of balancing numbers that's all this chart is is lots of balancing numbers yeah written into the fabric of reality through the golden ratio okay so we're dealing with cycles yeah this is a cycle here the tenth point this is a cycle for the metaphysical and the twelfth twelve here is a cycle for the physical yeah number of man six anyway i'm already getting distracted let's quickly move back on to this thing again so I can explain. So this 213 can be looked at as a halfway point, okay, as well as for a tipping point or a balance point on the scale, yeah. This would be the middle of the teeter totter here, yeah. And went 155 days on one side and 155 days on the other side. This is the teeter totter, yeah. And the teeter totter with 143 brings us to um, the the sixth. Of July here okay and the 6th of July okay if we look at it in our table happens to be in the table as well right here the 76 it comes after Independence Day right here and it's a 9 
and it's on, on the Lucas row, starts with a 2, okay, so we've got a 2 and a 9 reference here, okay, with this number, okay, the 29, as I've said before, is the perfect number to balance these two numbers, the 11, 18, the number of the balanced man, okay, the sum of 11 is 2, the sum of 18 is 9, add 11 and 18 together, you get 29, 2 and 9, okay, so 29 is important, this is interesting, the second, the row that starts with a 2, and the, the column, the ninth column, we have those numbers there. Okay? I just wanted to, this is, like, a lot of the time I won't put a lot of this stuff in because it just gets, um, there's just too much information. But I just think it's interesting, and seeing as I've split these videos up now a little bit, I'm going to do a little bit more detail on some of them. Okay? That happens to be the hundred. This day happens to be the hundred and eighty seventh day of the year, and there are one hundred and seventy eight days remaining in the year. Okay, so this is super significant. This day, right? And it's again, if we go inclusive of the day, it's three days like the rebirth, it's three days after independence. Again, interesting, yeah. When you finally come out of the womb, you're independent, yeah? Think of this in basic terms. And is this the resurrection day three days later? I don't know if that makes sense, but do you see how that works? Okay, it's only two days on paper, but the resurrection was three days inclusive, okay? Good Friday, Saturday, and then Easter Sunday, all right? Three days. Now, what this well, we're going to tie it into Easter again now. This gets even more interesting because I've got this 315 number here, okay? And people, okay, where am I getting this 315 number from? And then I'm going to show you the significance of where it goes to here in a second, okay? But we need to know where this 315 number is coming from. So, what we're going to do is we go back to the chart, okay? And we're going to look here, this 2, 1, 3 is the birthday, yeah, is the balance point, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to now sum each number here up to the 10th, in, the, up to the fir in this first cycle, yeah? So I'm going to take the sum of all these numbers here. So I'm going to take 4 plus 7 plus 11 plus 18 plus 29 plus 47 plus 76 plus 123. And I'm going to add all those together. And that gives me 315, okay, 315 right here. So all the other numbers in this row add up to 315. Okay, let's now go back to this and I'm going to show you. When you add 315 on, we go to Christmas, the 25th of December, from the 13th of February. Of February 315 days later we are at um, Christmas that's amazing right if we go backwards um, 315 days okay and if this was this year and we went backwards 315 days it would take us to 4-4 yeah the 4th of April last year the 4th of April was Easter this was Easter okay the 4-4. Four, four. What is interesting about this happen 213 happens to be the 44th day of the year as well. If I'm getting my numbers right, okay? So we've gone back to Easter here. We've gone back to April the 4th. Easter Sunday last year. That is just absolutely nuts. This becomes the pivot point for the birth and the rebirth again. Okay? Again, with the 143 up here, okay, the, the death date, <laughs> the death date, or the birth date, it doesn't matter which way around they go, one is the same as the other. This, if we go, this is the balance point, and we go backwards now, we've got 923, okay, the 23rd of September, okay, another possible date for the birth of Christ. This is the equinox, yeah? This is right when the vernal equinox happens. 
This is Virgo, yeah, going into Libra. This is coming out of the Virgin and going into balance. Libra is balance. You know, this is what happens on this date or around that date, you know. So very interesting, yeah. This kind of is becoming a pivot point, right, for balance. Um, and we've got it again here. And it ties very nicely back to the table. And another thing that's interesting, if we just take, if we just went from Christmas, this last Christmas gone, and we add on 100 days, it takes us up to the 4th of April. Okay, so we have that 100-day reference that's in the dollar bill as well with the with the quarter code. So this is this is becoming more and more insane with the links and the cycling that's going on here. Um, I honestly I don't know what else to say. I mean we can talk about the one four three again, okay? And it's it's linked to nine eleven now, okay? If I take um, the date for nine eleven. If I take the day of the year that it falls on, which is 254, okay, and I take the days left remaining in the year from that 254, okay, which is 111, okay, I end up at 143 days, okay. That is the only day in the year, that and the 21st of April, it's twin date, those are the only days in the year where you minus. Um, days remaining in the year or days gone in the year, whichever way around you want to do it, when you minus the the smaller number from the big number, you end up at 143. That's the only two dates in the year that do that. Okay, and 143 is very, very important because 143, if we go back to the table, those two numbers that are right next to Washington are the balance, are the totals of these two columns. The metaphysical and the physical, these total up to 88 and 55, which totals to 143. And 143 combined with 222, two lots of 111, okay, this makes a full year, 365 days. It's absolutely insane the way this works. I don't know if anybody else finds this amazing or not. I, I find this truly, absolutely amazing. I am sure that the elite rulers of the world know all of this information. They have all of this information. I have not come across this information out there anywhere other than what I have deduced for myself. And every time I find another little bit of information here, I'm like, well, how, how deep does this rabbit hole go? It's absolutely amazing. Okay. Um, so, what else do I want to say about this? Let's go back to this blooming thing again here, right? So we've got a cycle going on here. This is the balance point. We've got a cycle going on here. This is a balance point. We've got another cycle going on here. This is a balance point. Okay. Um, is this the date? Is this the date? I got no real idea. Okay. I think. That this is the date. And the reason why I think this is the date is solely because it balances with this date the best. In terms of 155 coming through this day here and then going 155 again. Okay. I mean, the 21st of April is a good date to balance with 9 11. Yeah. But I, I'm, I mean, the way I'm looking at this now with this little bit of information here. Yeah with the birth and the rebirth dates, you know, again, I'm thinking, and in the previous video we go through how this is so interrelated to this, I mean, I know this is the same here, okay, okay, and we've got the 76, and you can flip this, and this becomes gold, you know, the, the atomic number for gold, 79, and we're going to go gold across the top here, and, you know, certain dates, you know, this day and this day here are huge days in my life along with this day here. I mean, these days, right, are referenced heavily in significant dates in my life. Okay, I mean, I can only leave it at that. I don't really want to disclose all my personal details. But needless to say, it's almost like every single 
um, anniversary, um, birthday, between family members and family names and so forth and so on. It's just absolutely ridiculous the level of um, references in my own life to this thing, you know. And it's all about, you know, the, uh, the apocalypse, yeah. This number right here, or this number right here, or this number right here, yeah. Okay. It's about the time that you decide that you've had enough of the Matrix and you want to put an end to that thing. The murder, death, kill. The demolition of the Matrix, you know. The demolition of your own self-identity, the false identity that you've built for yourself based on living in the Matrix. I don't know if that makes sense to people, but the apocalypse for me has already happened. Okay, it's already it's already a process that's already begun for me, and it's already begun for a lot of people. Okay, but in the reality, reality likes to put physical metaphors there for everybody to see. In one way or another, that metaphor will come through, whether it's through the elites doing things, whether it's through the reality itself placing those ideas there. One way or the other, that message from God, the message of truth, which is at the heart of everything in the reality, it has to be built from that point. Everything has to be built from the balance point upwards, the fractal nature of reality expanding out from balance. That truth has to be there. Yeah. One way or the other. It doesn't matter the mechanism for, in which it arrives at that point. It just arrives. Okay. And so these things are the same thing, the birth, the rebirth, um, that coming out of sin, it's all the same thing. The death, the rebirth, they're, they're the same idea, okay? Oh, have I waffled enough? I think I want to leave this video at this point. I don't really think I want to add too much more to this because otherwise it gets too complicated. Um, but we have that thing again, you know? Um, and again, with with um, going back to the dollar bill, we have the 55 down here. OK, remember that cycle is the 55 at the bottom here. OK. We got the we're going to have to have two lots of one 55 at the top to balance this 55 that's down here. Again, uh, the 55 is between. Uh, 9 11 and uh, 187, wherever that thing is. 187's up here, 187's here. So I don't quite know the best way to describe that in terms of like which way around the cycle do we go and which way do we jump here and there. But it's all right there. I mean, make your own mind up on what day you want to pick. Um, I'm sure the metaphor is going to occur, the physical manifestation of that thing will occur at some point. You know, the same way as the physical manifestation of Christ probably happened 2,000 years ago. But there's a deeper meaning there. That metaphor is put there for us to understand that Christ is in the heart of everybody, yeah? Christ didn't die to atone for your sins. He died because of your sins. He died for the sins that we we did, okay, or what the sins that we do, okay. To let Christ back into your heart, to have Odysseus return home off the Odyssey, heart is where the home is, open the door, let Christ back into your heart and rebalance your world. That means letting go of sin. Stop sinning, okay. You can't be a good Christian and carry on sinning. and. Again, I'm going to do a video on this later, but I'm going to explain why it's so difficult to get rid of that sin. Because we have to look at natural law and the way we treat each other in order to get rid of that sin. And I guarantee it, I don't know a Christian out there, I don't know anybody out there actually, that is without sin. And even the people that don't want to sin still have sin. And I'm going to explain why. In a later video. Now there may be people that are able to do it. But the pit, everybody that I know. Including myself. Are still all sinners. Okay. But there is an intent there. Okay. The intent is that. 
if you intend to sin, now you're a bad person, right? Um, if you didn't know you were sinning, it was an honest mistake, okay, you're forgiven. You're, the law automatically always forgives somebody that makes an honest mistake. Balance must be returned, but the honest mistake, you can't blame somebody for making an honest mistake. But once you know the truth, boy, your life just got a lot harder. Okay, this is like um, Cypher wanting to go back into the Matrix. Yeah, he just doesn't want to deal with that growth, if you like. He just wants to stay where he was. You know, he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to move forward. Yeah. And those are the people that will remain in hell. You know, if you put your hand out and ask for help, God will come along and he will show you the way. Anyway, I'm, I don't, I don't want to get too preachy. I've got way too preachy on this. But that's, that's that next little bit of decode done. Okay. Um, stay tuned because I'm going to now, I'm going to go into some of the films, some of the references in films in the next video. And I've also got one last big decode coming up, which is super interesting as well. Okay, so stay tuned for the next lot. I can't, I don't think I've missed anything out of here. Um, hope you enjoyed, and I'll say bye, God bless, and cheers. Ciao for now. All right, bye.